guys, what's going on? It's Savage here. And apparently, yo, you could get an 85 overall draft. So that's what we're going to try to do. We're going to try to get an 85 overall draft. Then we're going to hop into the game with whatever overall we get. I've been getting a lot of 84s. I've been just chilling, trying to get 84s. But, yeah, so we're going to try to get the 85 rated draft. And I'm going to tell you guys about my first ever NFL, well, my first and only NFL playoff game I've been to. Your boy tailgated it. It was kind of lit. It was a great day. I'm going to hop into this draft. Going into the first round, the legend round. I'm just going to try to build the 85 overall team and pretty much just tell you. So, guys, this was back in, I think, 2006 or 2007. It was the NFC wild card round between the New York Giants. When I think they had, like, Tiki Barber. I want to say Plaxico Burris. I want to say... I want to say they had Plaxico Tiki... Obviously, Eli, Hakeem Nix, bro, like, it was like, it was like your, oh, God, it was like your OG, your OG Lion, or Lions, Giants players, dude. Oh, another Legend round, or Elite round, dude. Wow, we getting a good draft so far. We had a 75. I really just want to hit an 85. But, seriously, so, th there was, like, obviously your OGs. There was Brian Westbrook, uh, McNabb was on the Eagles, um, uh, David Akers was on the Eagles, there was, dude, like, that. it was just crazy. It was just, it was such a long time ago to remember all the players that were actually, like, on that team. But, you know, it's whatever, it's whatever. But, so, the reason I got the tickets was because my grandpa got me them from his friend at work. And he got two tickets for me and my dad. And my uncle, who is a season ticket holder, actually went to that game, too. Because, I mean, why not, right? Is a playoff game be pretty lit? And we tailgate it. I'm going to tell you guys more about the tailgating um, when we actually get into the gameplay because that's kind of what I want to focus on is like me tailgating and me being at the game. Because when I tell you, there is like, it is a thousand times. And I think anybody, anybody that's been to a regular season and a playoff game can agree with me. Ooh. Okay, we got some heat this round. Three receivers. We got 81 overall. I don't know. We, we got to get a quarterback. I don't think we're going to get, I don't know what we're going to get. E. I'm going to take this guy, Tammy. Let's focus on this draft. Last two rounds. Come on, baby. Give me that heat. I need that heat. I did this ain't what I want. All right. So it doesn't look like we're going to get anywhere near an 85 overall. But um, on, a re on, a, on, a, on another note, um, if you've ever been to a playoff game and you've been to a regular season game, you know the atmosphere. Thousand times different. Let's hop into this game. I'm going to tell you what went down. Guys, so pretty much me and Papa Sab, we drove up onto the scene of Lincoln Financial Field. Ooh, I don't know if it was the link, though. It might have been the vet, because the Eagles used to, stadium used to be called the vet. So, yeah, so we went there, met up with my uncle, and now, like, he, since he's a season ticket holder, he usually, he knows so many people um, that, like, tailgate. So, when we were tailgating... This was pretty lit. This is what I... See, as a young savage, I didn't know this was possible. They had a TV, like an actual, like, like, like a miniature TV about, like, yay big, hooked up in their cars. So I'm over here like, bro, science is advancing. Like, I thought that was so cool. Guess what they were playing? Madden 06 with Donovan McNabb on the cover. We were playing rushing attack where you're on the mini field and you got to try to run a pass. Um, like your opponent and stuff and get into the end zone and you didn't score touchdowns You scored points like if you scored a touchdown It's so weird that I remember this, but if you scored a touchdown on the first play you got 320 um, bonus points or something so I'm over here like I was like a legend at this So I was playing my older cousin and we were just playing we were playing it was so fun Cause like I just thought it was dope like to be like tailgating and we, like everybody's like hyping stuff, everybody around you screaming. We're running tournaments in Madden 06. I'm out here taking names with my two man under, bro, because that was like the only play I really knew. Dude, it was so it was just so fun because like I just love being like if you, like if you're a sports fan, you love just the atmosphere of being at like a stadium. I could go to any stadium. I don't care what it could be the Browns versus it could be the Browns versus freaking the Rams like I had to look up at my pendants because I had to pick a really bad team too but I couldn't think of one on the top of my head other than the freaking Browns but that's gonna be a dot but yeah y'all like I'm, a, I'm after this kickoff I'm gonna pick it up in a second but yeah y'all like you know what I mean that atmosphere love it as I was saying young savage taking names and stuff being hype around all the environment of just being at a playoff game and as we're getting ready to you know go what is this dude this guy's a clown um, as we're getting ready to go into the stadium and stuff, like, 
everybody around you high five and stuff getting ready to run into like literally run because i was hype at this point i just wanted to be in the stadium so we get inside of the stadium and oh that's me that's me that's me that's me as we get inside of the stadium we find our seats and we had like pretty nice seats like my, my grandpa didn't mess around yo we got we got the a1s so we're chilling now inside of the stadium right and now since it's like winter time it's freezing in there so i just remember the game being like very the majority of it the majority of it was run like a very run heavy game um you know yeah i think actually i think amani tumor and jeremy shockey were on the squad too still or, or was, i think it was shockey's last year with the giants before he went to the saints before he retired but so I just remember it being pretty run heavy and stuff, and it was like pretty. It was just it was like a really good game, like seeing like Westbrook and stuff, and like everybody like you know, I I literally saw like like the OG squads of the Giants of the 2000s and the OG squads. It might have been 06, because then the Giants played. It was the year before I think the Giants won the Super Bowl, but they were in the they were in the playoffs back to back years or something. But what's it called? Um, so we're 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 in there, and. Now, of course, like, they're doing all this special stuff since it's the playoffs. And they got, like, the jet, the fighter jets flying over, over the stadium and stuff, dude. Where after the Star Spangled Banner. You know, you literally, you feel like you're about to run out on the game and, like, lay the wood. But I'm just in this, I'm in the stands. So, we're watching the game and stuff. It was close the whole game. Like, that's what I love. I, I, like, I like going to games. I hate going to games that are blowouts, dude. That's so boring because then it's just like it's so one-sided and the other team legitimately looks like they're stopped trying. Like it's like it's like after if they're down by like three possessions in the second half, it's just like, all right, well, we we tried. I don't like going to games like that. I like going to games where it's a lot of competition, a lot, like it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what the score is. Like they're gonna just it's back to back, back to back, shootouts and stuff. So the score was it was tied, right? And there was like just there wasn't that much time left. The Eagles had the ball. Now remember, David Akers was their kicker, and David Akers, in my opinion, he could do, definitely gonna be a Hall of Fame kicker, one of the best kickers of all time. So he, because he was just very consistent, he had a boot too. Um, but but his consistency was what made him a very valuable asset to any team that um, uh, like you know picked like pat him on the team because I'm pretty sure he went from the Eagles to the line to the 49ers to the Lions or something like that. Uh, but whatever, it, that's whatever, that doesn't really matter. But I'm just saying, like, I really like David Akers. I respect that, man. So, we go, we're, we're, we're watching the game, and it's about, it's a, it, it lo it's looking like it's going to OT, right? And and it's just looking like, oh my God, we're about to be at an o to overtime playoff game. So, the Eagles have the ball. Eagles driving. The Eagles had, like, you know, their timeouts and stuff, whatever. Oh my God, pro what? Pro size, dude. That's a dot. I'm going again. Um, so... The Eagles getting ready to, to, you know, try to get into the field goal range, bro. When I tell you, cool, the story's about to end because it's about to be a very dramatic finish. Four seconds on the clock. David Akers steps out on the field. Does this thing. I don't know. I don't know exactly what they're doing when they're doing this. Like, like, do they have, like, some measurement tool in their forearm that, like, tells them where to kick it? Lines it up. Looks at it. Three, two, kick is up. Kick was good. Cash money. The Eagles won that game. Something to something. All I know is they won by three. Unbelievable. When I tell you I was hugging people, and I'm a Steelers fan, I was hugging people I didn't even know. High-fiving people didn't even know. Like, the excitement in the stadium. And then the Eagles, I'm pretty sure the Eagles went on to lose the next round or something. But that doesn't matter, yo. It was so dope to be at a playoff game. I'm really trying to go back. Like, I'm really trying to get to another playoff game, guys. Uh, like, obviously, that came and went for this season. But, you know, next year, definitely want to try to go to a playoff game. Um, I'm. I, it was just such a fun experience. If you guys have ever been to a playoff game, ever tailgated, ever had a dope time at a game, let me know down below in the comment section. Leave a like. Tell me other stories you want to hear about my, my life. And subscribe if you're new, guys. Have a wonderful rest of your night. Boom!